hope you guys had an amazing amazing weekend in this video i want to go in very in depth on the top stocks that i am watching for this week i am very excited for this week because i got a lot of amazing and great setups that i want to go over um to you guys so the point of this video is to help you be prepared for the market for this week and that is the goal so let's get started with that if you guys have not already make sure to join the discord and sign up to sundaystocktalk.com just put in your email and you'll get a weekly email newsletters and subscribe with notifications on if you guys have not already make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments what stocks you guys are watching uh, in the comments so let's get started with that uh, the first thing that I am taking a look at is the spy the overall market now before we dive deep into that we don't have much going on on the economic calendar that is why i am not uh going over the economic calendar but we, we don't have much going on this week for the calendar so let's take a look at the spy first which is the s p 500 uh the overall you know top 500 stocks in the stock market today and you know we broke off a massive downtrend um, for the spy. We consolidated. We broke out. 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 And now we are in this area where we broke out of this consolidation phase. So the the resistance that we had is now the level of support. So the first plate that I am looking at is for calls at five hundred and one dollars so around this area which is five hundred and two dollars so this is going to be a nice area for calls for the spy we can see that whenever we break uh, a consolidation phase the resistance becomes the support so if we do come back down this is going to be a great area to play a short-term bounce on so we're talking about like a day trade a very very short term very close expiration trade um, on the spy we can also yet uh, see that futures are down a little bit um, right now but this is going to be our area for calls for the spy now these are the two uh, levels that we are watching, five hundred and two dollars, and then four hundred and ninety-four dollars. Because if we break this support also, then we have more room to the downside, which is four hundred and ninety-four dollars. So these are going to be the two areas to play calls on for the spy. So this is what I am taking a look at. We are kind of uh, overextended on the spy, so expecting just some sort of a pullback or some sort of a consolidation. Uh, period um, for the spy but we will see what happens the first play that I am watching and that I am already in is Boeing stock ticker symbol BA we got a very nice descending triangle if you guys have not already make sure to watch the full video on Boeing but we got weekly call options as I alerted on the discord make sure to join that if you not have already but I want to sell right around two hundred and six dollars now the interesting thing about Boeing is that it is not a tech stock and it typically it usually does not follow the spy so even if the spy is pulling back and going down and the overall is market is going down Boeing really does not follow that so we talked a lot about uh, you know Boeing in our last video so just make sure to watch that because I don't want to go over and repeat all of that but just watch that video amazing a plus setup okay this is a number one setup that i'm watching i have weekly call options and it is not too late to enter in um for call options on boeing um we just need to hold this level of support that is all so this is the first play that i am in now the next play that i am in and it looks absolutely amazing i've not even talked about it um is Bank of America, amazing, amazing play for Bank of America. Solid A plus setup. We got a massive, massive ascending triangle on Bank of America, and I have to say, solid A plus setup. I'm very, very excited for this play. And in this video, I want to go over why. So we're taking a look at Bank of America. We broke off a massive downtrend breakout. Um, you know, we made a video on this. It was on one of our Sunday Stock Talk videos. 
okay we played this but we're taking a look uh, at the weekly time frame we have a very nice consolidation period going on bank of america which is a very nice ascending triangle setup so we could see that we have been trading sideways since december 2023 so for around three months now we have really been trading sideways for bank of america and the reason that this is a a plus setup is because it is getting tighter and tighter and tighter so what makes a a plus setup a plus for me is uh how uh tight the setup is because then we have our stop loss like right here and it's just getting you know squeezed we're just getting a massive squeeze to the upside so we're going to have an amazing uh stop loss for bank of america uh, on the daily time frame so for me i'm just waiting it to get tighter tighter and hopefully around you know march 5th around next week we can play bank of america but the idea is that we enter in at the level of support we play the bounce and then we play the breakout so this is this is going to be around a one month out call expiration and my price price target is going to be 37 dollars for buying so i'm going to take a sip of water real quick But we can see that $37 is going to be our price target. And this is going to be our uh, price target, um, especially since we are trading between this channel. But look, I'm very, very excited. I'll keep you guys updated on the Discord. So make sure to join the Discord because I'll be sending my live buy and uh, sell alerts over there. So one month out calls for Bank of America. So next we have AMD. Now the thing about AMD is that we have really been just trading sideways uh, between these two levels. So what I'm thinking is if we do get a red week and Nvidia decides to pull back, the overall market decides to pull back, what I want to do is I want to play calls again at the level of support. Now this is what I am looking at for the play, okay? Playing the calls off the bottom. Now we can try to play the breakout, but again, I've got I've got burnt a lot playing the breakout, uh, especially with Shopify. I'm gonna compare the AMD play a lot to the Shopify play, but we can see something like this uh, for AMD, where when we broke out, we got a massive pop to, uh, to the upside. So if we take a look at AMD, very, very similar setup, but the best probability is buying call options at the right, uh, at the support, right at the support, that is going to be the best power probability. So this is the next play that I'm watching. Uh, Boeing, Bank of America, AMD, A plus setups. Next, we got Apple stock. Now, Apple, again, very, very similar. Very, very similar to the play on Boeing, very, very similar to the play on AMD and Shopify. Okay, we have this massive level of support, $180. Now, the interesting thing about Apple is that we are actually forming a massive ascending triangle. Amazing, amazing. Another amazing ascending triangle setup um, for Apple. We got a lot of great A-plus setups um, and especially small account challenges. So, the thing for Apple is we need to hold this level of support because then we can potentially see a previous setup like the ascending triangle triangle set up on Apple here. So something like this. So we're taking a look at Apple. We need to hold this level of support. We can see that the $180 is a massive level of support. Now we played the support two times. We played the support last week. We played the support and then we also played the support right over here. Okay. You guys know in the discord, you know, we're absolutely milking Apple and we haven't lost a single trade on Apple yet because we're absolutely killing it with Apple. It is one of my favorite, favorite stocks to trade because it follows the technical analysis so, so well. So $180 if the market decides to pull back, I want to buy uh, calls right here and the stop loss is going to be the close below $180 and I'm thinking around a month out expiration because again, we have this massive ascending triangle on the weekly time frame next we got boeing and uh, i mean uh, airbnb and this is going to be a play for shares this is going to be a very nice play for shares and the stop loss is going to be right here so i want to enter in shares right at market open but the stop loss is going to be below 100 and uh you know right below 150 dollars so the interesting uh interesting thing about uh airbnb is we have this massive uh, ascending triangle but our stop loss is right here because we don't we can't be below 150 dollars because then we have more room to the downside now the perfect entry is obviously going to be the level of support right here so if it does pull back this is going to be like the average down or just a perfect entry for airbnb but this is going to be a solid shares play a very very similar play okay so 
talking about potentially 40%, 44%. Now, very, very similar play to our previous plays on Autodesk. So we had Autodesk, uh, we had, let me think, Snow. Okay, both of these two were shares play. You guys can go back to my YouTube videos, search, you know, Snow Stock, Fire Cycle 1 4, uh, or now it's Sunday Stock Talk. Um, but very, very similar plays. As you guys like to, you know, as I, as you guys know, I like to compare it with my previous plays. So Autodesk and Snow are very similar to the play on Airbnb. Overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I forgot about Bitcoin now, so let's talk about Bitcoin now. But Bitcoin, as you guys know, I am a long-term investor on Bitcoin. I got over six figures in Bitcoin just alone. This is my biggest, biggest position. I have a one-hour video coming uh, along on here. But again, I bought my Bitcoin right here, around $30,000. Uh, you guys can check the Discord you know, for my receipts if you guys do want the proof. Um, but Bitcoin is my biggest, biggest positions. We can see that you know, just like SPY, just like the other markets we trade sideways we break out we consolidate we trade sideways we break out we trade sideways we break out and bitcoin is just in another phase of just trading sideways we got the halving coming up and it's going to be pretty much soon at all time highs and then 150,000 uh you know next year and, and whatnot overall hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what stocks you guys are watching amazing setups for this week and see you guys right at market open i'll be active i'll be extra active in the discord today so make sure to join the discord if you guys have not already and see you guys later